So the Doc keeps trying to get some good hits in. But what's this? Great dive by Yellow against the Stuka. Hello everyone, this is Show 17 and today I'm covering a 3v3 game uh, in Company of Heroes 3. We got ourselves a number of players here. This game is submitted by my Discord, so if you want to submit a game in the future, submit it there or my Gmail, whoever works. Um, I know co 3 plays are not great at the moment because again there's a lot of missing issues, but I do cast them now and again. We got ourselves Sai Dirt uh, Tear Garten, okay. Um, again, I'll be co covering them by colors after this point, but I do want to at least say who they are, or at least give the attempt. We have Bepe Coco, uh, Johnny Rifle, and Where's Your Motivation? Interesting names. Armor Company, Special Operations, Italian Combined Arms, all sorts of stuff. Very cool. And we got ourselves a Weasel. I really kind of grow to like this unit. Listen, you have to upgrade for its weapon, but the fact it can just th drop you a mortar or an MG is really, really helpful early on. And, for, and now, to be fair, reinforcing it, that can be a bit of an issue just because of the fact that uh, with this unit specifically, um, it, can't, it can heal, but it can't do that. So you need to rely on, let's say, uh, a half-track to do so for the Americans. Where, let's say, the Doc, which is the main enemy in this case, we have two Americans and, of course, the Doc. Uh, for, well, sorry, three Doc, two Americans, one Brit. Uh, Interesting choice for the motorcycle team. Again, not bad. Uh, good for capturing territory, but not really much use. Uh, unlike the uh, Kubel Wagon from Company for Rose 2 that actually can use detection, this does give a small, uh, I guess, deficit to people in cover, but... And I guess it is just harassing the British, but the British did bring an MG to drive it away. On the right, it seems like that's where the Doc are focusing, and we already see the Bursaliri, uh already uh, moving onto the front. Again, can't switch between all the different uh, well forces but it is interesting to see them at least using them in mass and deploying close to the front again going right we already have two fuel points captured makes sense they want to go for fuel more than uh the other resources on this map because again you get the fuel you get light armor so you get maybe eight rads out sooner or the stug d which is uh, been very, very potent on the battlefield across Co3. Um, for the Allies, again, they've they made the Stuart better. They've made, of course, uh, some other changes to the Brits and the Americans, respectively, to try to make certain units better, uh, such as the MG making suppression better to hopefully stop blobs. That being said, uh, not blob, but a motorcycle team moving in on the flank. Not a bad idea. Quickly move in. But unfortunately, the British forces have now just uh, focused, fired, and are driving that unit away. Speaking of, uh, I guess, motorized units, we do have a half-track with a flamethrower. So we have the dock clown car, essentially, moving on in against the Brits. The Brits, remember, don't have an AT ability unless you get the upgrade. And their, of course, AT rifles aren't uh, upgraded, or aren't going to be upgraded anytime soon. Well, one, he got the flamethrower, and two, usually people start getting it a little bit later on. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, that maybe just having one unit either go AT or on your team, or especially when you're versing so many dock players, or have something like this where you have enough firepower to drive away that half track. This thing, again, rear armor being hit. Oh my god, did he just kill two units? Uh, no, I think he's still alive. There he is. I've had a unit die inside, and that's unfortunate. But he only lost the model in that case, even though it looked like he was uh, about to die. Weasel just. Going above and beyond. And again, veteran seat. Nice uh, kill there. So it keeps just getting better and better for it. British forces are now held up right behind this heavy cover. Trying to hold against the dock attack. And so far, even though their cover is exploding. Or has a mild case of the explosions. Uh, the infantry section do pick off that Panzer Pioneer. And drive it away. Killing the flamethrower group. And uh, yeah, no. Great job all around. Again, we also have the 4x4 truck. Which is solid. Because again, at the very least... You have two units that are pretty quick and mobile to hopefully counteract any sort of light armor the dock throw. And right now we have double weasels coming into play. Very cool. Again, uh, now with this firepower, they should be able to counteract the light vehicles, such as that Crad motorcycle team or the half track. But the problem really comes down to them when you start seeing a lot of, uh, well, of course, units with better armor, such as, let's say, an 8 rad. Or, you know, a possible Stug or something like that. But again, we'll have to see what exactly the dock go. Now, right now, the dock managed to grab the fuel over here. But so, too, have the allies as the yellow player managed to grab the fuel on the right. Uh, victory point-wise, it's still pretty close. But it seems like the allies have gained two victory points um, as the dock have managed to hold on for a little bit of time. 
but still, it's anyone's game right now. Big old blob of forces, a blob I would consider a group of three or more troops in close proximity being usually controlled in uh, pretty much maybe uh, just one button press. Um, that would be a dumb blob or smart blob individually being microed, typically by higher tier players. Um, four by four, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, not having a good day. Allied forces trying to do their best to hold the line. But again, these guys have already gotten their additional men. So we know at least for this uh, dock player, again, now he's slowly going down that tier to upgrade these forces. And once he gets three additional command points on top of the one he used here, he's going to get the additional LMGs for their guys, which make them even more powerful. Um, we also have an MG-34 to support the American forces. And again, the Americans here also, I would consider a blob. Three, or tr three troops in close proximity to each other moving. So uh, maybe more of a dumb blob. But still, um, they're trying their best to hold off the Brits. Uh, not Brits, sorry. The dock. The Brits are just chilling in mid for the time being. And it seems like from my guesstimate, I would give it to the dock in this case. Because the Allies are very... I would say very low in health, but he just lost that man. So, yeah, maybe retreating would have been a better option there rather than holding to the last man. Um, yeah. You know, live to fight another day so your men have veterancy. You know, some positive stuff for you. But uh, blue on the other side is slowly pushing forward. Looks like one of the weasels did perish well, under fire from something. Uh, we also have Panzer Grenadiers over here being upgraded with uh, their LMGs. Uh, but that being said, where is their additional support? So, another Panzer Pioneer, another Panzer Grenadier for Red. Uh, for Red, also bring out a support gun, which is interesting. Now, again, you can get a support gun or you can get a T gun. So, it's not, uh, bad whatever you pick, because both have the utility, especially with AT guns in general being at least slightly better, and the support gun being an awesome counter to a lot of infantry. Plus, again, with the half tracks and more mobile units, you can bring them up and reposition them a lot faster. Uh, which is good. Again, we also have LMGs over here. I, I'm i not a huge fan of the commandos with LMGs. Now, the commandos in general did get some nice, you know, changes to them to make them more appealing. But my problem with them is I honestly prefer the, um, the uh, commando section because I find them better. Now, these guys will definitely do damage and will hold out better than, of course, infantry, se infantry section with Brens. But the, my issue is the fact that they don't get grenades or other specials, right? They're just DPS, uh, that's it. Now, and they only have four models. Which, in this case, uh, s s mortar? Hold on. Yeah, it's support gun just lighting them up. Look at that range, damn. Great shots across the board. American forces getting that medical aft track I mentioned earlier to reinforce. And looks like the, uh, oh, we actually have a reinforced truck over here too. So both sides have something, MG-34, to guard against the inbound Americans. Uh, they're going to be absolutely suppressed out in the open. And these guys might have the ability to push back. Now, there is still an NG, so really it's going to be like a no-man's land. But the thing is, the dock, because there's speed boost from the Burst Leary, can reposition themselves a lot quicker. So I could easily see something where they think that the uh, dock forces are here, but he repositions the American from the flank. Speaking of flanks, uh, Panzer Pioneer with the flamethrower hitting the scout unit, which he did get the upgrade so he can recon at least. And that's the one pause I'll give is at least the Americans might be able to know where they're going. Also here, we got some more commandos as well as infantry section with Brent. So really going for the DPS right now for Cyan. Um, he's about to hit red while blue is also hitting him with the quad mount of all things, hitting with everything he has. And it looks like the Americans are just falling back. The Bristolary, with that, again, Panzer Pioneer just overwhelmed the men. So Yellow is pulling back very quickly. But again, we have a situation here where it seemed like there was a double team with the British and the Americans against Red. That was the that was their, like, whole operation was defeat Red, deal with him, and then we'll deal elsewhere. Because the remaining bits of British forces are more defensive trying to hold back this upcoming attack, which by the way now includes an 8-rad. And we do have an AT gun, um, but it's facing, uh, I think it's facing the wrong way. I mean, it's barely holding on this way. Hold on, will this, ooh. Well, they got their upgrades and the upgrades managed to snipe that commando squad. Damn, great shot right there. Medical truck coming on in. We have a Greyhound, which is pretty solid at fighting off infantry. And again, these guys don't have any AT which is pretty much the deficit of the Bursaliri. They have speed, they have firepower, especially with their upgrades, but they lack AT. That said, the 8-rad 
can go toe to toe with the Greyhound, but again, it's with that. Hold on. We have Italian light tanks? Oh, yes. I mean, they did, you know, change it to where they're cheaper and make it a little more appealing for these guys. But, uh, yeah, just going on in, diving deep. Now, the Americans might have grenades at this point. Hold on. Uh, maybe not. They are burning to death. And the Greyhound. Oh, nice shot right there. Also, upgrade to the 75mm gun mortar carriage. They tried to make this more appealing. A lot of people weren't using it. And to be fair, if you're going for a... If you're going for a T, some people are like, I'll just buy the next building rather than get a half track with this gun. But they did some changes. It made it slightly more appealing. Um, and it seems like there in the Greyhound managed to put that L6 threat down pretty quickly. But uh, L6, uh, again, moving back. Again, we'll have to see how things fare. Eight rads still alive. Although only got one kill. I've been talking that thing up, but it's honestly maybe not been the most, you know, pivotal unit on the field. But right now we do have a situation where the dock currently, and I'm just saying that because all three players are the dock, but the dock players currently uh, have the victory point advantage, even though they're currently down over on victory points by about 30 points. So we'll see how the British, because it seems like the British and the yellow American are pretty much ready to counterattack. Blue seems to be kind of just still healing from his uh, last assault. Because I'm not seeing a ton of men anywhere. Like, there's a couple, like, you know, again, Special Operations as a S SF Commando Squad being uh, gotten. That's cool. Also, nice Piot launcher. I, I Grenade launcher. But essentially, you're firing long-range shots with sport gun and such. Wait, is that... No, he, he still has the base... 250. Oh, he did. I'm sorry. The, the, the gun mortar carriage just put it down pretty quick. Also using artillery against the MG. Again, nice flank by the Brits. So while Blue may not have the most men, at least with what he had, he managed to put down some units. Uh, let's see. Damn, one shot against the L6. Oh, second shot with AT gun. So here we go. Nice job defeating the armor. Uh, so at least the Italians got put down. And so two to the half track. But the Gustatori are here. And they're using their flamethrowers quite effectively uh, to put down these commandos. Now, they've had their AT components kind of stripped from them. But they're still very effective and have tons of armor. So, again, still something you need to worry about. Uh, but at least you don't have to worry about them chucking a satchel on you. Which is good. Now, these commandos are just slowly falling back. Honestly, the Gustatori are probably not going to let you breathe. Sport gun as well, just lining you up. Uh, like, this thing is not known for fighting infantry, but besides its artillery, maybe get lucky with that. Oh, oh my god. Uh, that was a hell of a shot from the artillery on it. Uh, Panzer Grenadier's coming on in. Now the Sport Gun's taking the MG. Uh, Greyhound trying to come on in, but again, that's the American's armor, which, again, good job. At least he got some additional weapons to fight. Uh, the uh, Bursaliri with their LMGs, so at least the bars give them a bit more of a, you know, an ability to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, especially if they're playing defensive as, as the dock advances. Oh, God. We also have a Martyr, so again, uh, not bad for AT, and again, it is pretty cheap given the cost. But again, we're not going to see the Greyhound, so it's not going to be as effective unless they get a good shot on the Medic truck. Grenades thrown, and the MGs will probably be well, yeah, sorry, the LMGs will probably shred it, but no, they threw a second grenade for good. Uh, oh, wait, he's just going to reinforce it with a medical truck. I, that's what I see happening with the Americans pushing on in. Left-hand side, Red is still holding as the Americans and the Brits try their best. Wait, where are the Brits? Oh, no, Brits are coming up right now with two uh, Brens. Interesting choice. I'm actually kind of curious why he's going pure Brens. Not because I'm saying it's bad. He has a lot of DPS, but usually a person will go a recon to try to identify key targets and to see. Um, so, just bringing that up. Support gun absolutely proving it's worth that cost. Uh, may not be getting a ton of kills as only as five. It's definitely doing the damage against the infantry, slowly wearing them down. Commando's trying to get close to try to take that point. I'm not seeing a ton stopping them. Oh, right, here we go. Panzer Grenadiers with LMGs. That should be enough. Plus, the medical truck here can reinforce them if things get hairy. Meanwhile, in mid, it seems like the Americans managed to take over that point, which is solid. Uh, where is that? I. Oh, boy. I'm uh, going to just take a wild guess and say maybe the 8-rad didn't live very long. It didn't prove itself to be all that effective. Now, nice job with the American flanking the MG, which... Puts middle into a bit of a conundry. 
conundrum right now because they have a lot of artillery, but they need support to guard it against American counterattacks. And the Brits as well coming on in. And this is also the thing, like, you have a lot of firepower here, but maybe artillery would be better to try to rip them apart. Just saying. Uh, hold on. A half track going in a little bit crazy here. Uh, flamethrowers are still hurting it, as we can see. The Gustatori are still may able to do damage. Greyhound now moving on, moving on in. They're trying to kill that truck. That truck is reinforcing everything. They kill it. That's great. Also, where's the AT? I just realized that. Wait, like, seriously, like, where, where, where is your AT? Uh, mortar half track. Uh, half health. Greyhound doing the best it can. Being hit by AT. Not by the middle player, Purple, but actually by over here. By Red, who brought out the 38. Artillery's coming down. Around the MG again. They're going to reposition. So, Burst Leary uh, fighting off the Americans toe-to-toe. -to -toe. A bar... We, we have a good old bar fight, but... Hold on. Airstrike's coming on in, so it's a double strafe. Now, with this strafe, that also shows he's not going with the M13 Caro. So, they'd rather get the strafe and for support rather than that. Uh, meanwhile, these infantry is being up in the MG, suppressing them. So I think the Americans dodged the airstrike and managed to gain advantage against the orange. Uh, I mean, if he can reinforce, which he does have, he has the medical right here, and heal his Greyhound, which, again, he can heal right here with Armored. He's going to be pretty good to not only take this position, but continue on with the offensive. British losing an M uh, MG, it looks like. We have Commandos fighting the Gustatori, but the Flamethrowers are no joke. Oh, Centaur coming on in. All right. Uh, missing with their shot. Can we can we hit? Um, can we hit, please? Uh, a Stu D, you are not. All right. Uh, British forces are capturing this territory. On the left, the... Again, at the Americans are advancing. Those commandos are doing work. But Panzer III is on the field. I th is that the first Panzer III we've seen? Or, like, major armor from the dock? I mean, I know, like, half-tracks and lighter ve lighter uh, vehicles and such. But, I, wow. I, and now the support gun's being taken out. With the medical truck gone, they can't reinforce. And now, okay, immobile targets. Now this thing is starting to have a little bit of fun. All right. MG, I would pull back. Purple just kind of falling apart here. About to lose quite a bit. Initiating rollout of Yellow again in a very good position. But again, that too, you can't deny that at least they have still have some solid infantry. And the Blob gets hit by the Stuka and the Doc take advantage, killing the weaker unit. So excellent job right there. Again, MG goes down. They can continue on the pressure with that because again there's nothing stopping them strikes coming in it's going after the mg and the at gun this could be a hell of a straight and it is hitting four units suppressing them again he's trying to reinforce it luckily the mg was just able to suppress the infantry and keep him away very lucky that straight didn't actually kill something look at the health on this guy but reinforcing uh the american is able to uh Oh, sorry. He's still able to reinforce. Jesus Christ, sound like Yoda for a second. <laughs> he, he was able to reinforce, bring his men up, and maybe, just maybe, even though the Doc did manage to capture the right-hand side via Orange, able to take advantage. This thing? Uh, okay. Slowly doing work. Slowly wearing them down. Again, Centaur slowly doing damage. And does get to Vet 1, so at least he's able to, you know, show itself to be pretty capable. And with the additional Veteran C, it's able to, you know, do a little better, hopefully. And survive. Greyhound, again, I think that thing has proven itself time and time again to be super effective. Also, blobbing against Centaur will just help it out even further. American forces coming on over with the riflemen. Gustatori just can't fight the armor. It's like, you need AT, buddy. These guys do not have satchels anymore. You, you cannot win that fight. Uh, speaking of fighting, it looks like these commandos have managed to do quite a bit of damage, pushing back the Panzer III. Support guns are doing their best. And it seems like that's the strategy for the dock is get double support guns. But, unfortunately, support guns will not help you against the Sherman. So, we'll see what happens. Also, Snuka seems to be coming down, hitting the back lines. MG is neutralized. AT guns barely living. But reinforcing, uh, yeah, the, the hatch is able to reinforce both these units and bring them up, up to operational status. So, the dock keeps trying to get some good hits in. But what's this? 
great dive by Yellow against the Stuka. Hold on. Stuka takes a shot still alive. Again, he has this whole oh, bunch of units, but they can't do squat. They have no AT. Greyhound, nice. Oh my, I love how he's on fire. But uh, again, we have a Panzer IV tank. So we, okay, so armored. Dodging left and right. Deja vu indeed. Greyhound, what a dive. I love how people are like, as, I mean, to be fair, it, it's with the repair functionality. Also, Martyr Three being put down too. Excellent. I wonder if the Greyhound did that. Probably just going in and absolutely smashing the dock and making it back alive. All right. Greyhound pr absolutely proving itself to be the vital MVP of this game. Uh, at least so far from what I can see. Um, no other unit I can tell. Wait, hold on. Is he going to switch? I was going to say... If he kills that pack 36, you could take it. He's just killing the men. Pack 36 can't defend itself. Gustatori has to come on in. Now, again, this isn't a bad unit under any circumstances. Plus, you get a medical truck. Or you can make it a medical truck. But you get a, you get a truck to, you know, uh, reinforce if you want. And the 36 will absolutely tear apart armor. But now with range, the LMGs can absolutely tear apart the Gustatori. The Gustatori need to close the gap. But now we have a ton of British forces moving back and forth. Again, using uh, assault flares, so okay. Not bad. They can see and they can fight and move quicker. So that's why you're seeing all this go out off right now. On the left-hand side, that Panzer III is trying his best, but just... He's getting kills. I'm assuming that's the light vehicle stuff, but just not able to really do all that much in general. Support guns, though, seems to be hurting a lot of the infantry. Uh, pack 36, trying to do some damage, does get one infantry kill, but it's not known for killing infantry. Hold on. Support guns almost kill the commandos. They're going to pull back. Infantry section covering. Again, they're, they, they're not retreating, they're just pulling back. Greyhound on the right hand side took some heavy hits. Martyr 3 coming in, drive it away. And does get some more infantry and armor kills. Killing that medical truck. Again, I love how he's just going in for a quick punch and getting out. Again, you can't defeat the infantry, but if you defeat the support to the infantry, then you can beat it. Especially when your riflemen just continue to take heavy losses. Um, they're trying their best to fight, but the MG will hopefully seal the deal and suppress that inbound uh, uh, German forces. Left-hand side, again, Panzer III is healed. We have not seen too much else. Blue is still taking the heavy hits from the support gun. But again, medical truck can reinforce and hopefully repositions that, repositions that MG. Commandos have done pretty well so far. We have the Sherman as well for support, though it hasn't really been in a fight too much. Here comes the airstrike. Uh, Sherman did take some hits. It looks like he actually has an upgrade for it. At least I, well, I can see Martyr almost dead. Hold on. Gets put down. And honestly... Should, should he go for it? On He probably should. I mean, if I'm... If I'm this player, right? Where are you? No, he doesn't have it. I mean, I mean, recovery half-track might get you some cheaper units that are real close to your base that you could get repaired. Um, how much does Centaur have? 12 kills. So it's not doing terrible. I can't say that. I'm surprised we have not seen any Stoop Ds. For three dock players, I am... Genuinely surprised, but pack 36 trying to hit the Matilda driving it away this slow steady behemoth uh, Even though it has a lot of armor probably doesn't want to engage that Strafe's coming on in get some great shots killing the pack and the support gun now He can reinforce one using the medical truck if I'm that uh, I would get the pack because You want to make sure you can hold up against armor and Panzer threes typically have a harder time uh, Panzer four on the field, but again, that's a short barrel, so don't expect it to just single-handedly fight that Sherman and be like, ah, yes, I could win. It's like, no. <laughs> you're you're going to need some additional support. Plus, we can see here, again, it seems like this blue player has the infantry to support him. Whether the commandos, bazooka teams, MGs, you name it, he has a solid defensive line. And right now, even though the allies are down victory point-wise, they have two. So we'll see how well he does against this new dock counterattack. Grenade is thrown, but he again uh, the Panzer Pioneers miss. He used fire. He uses fire into the smoke, so we can try to drive them away. Airstrikes are coming in the mid. Does hit some of the infantry? Maybe the armor? It hurts the armor a little bit. Pack 36 is neutralized, but again looks like troops are moving in to take it back. 
Again, you connect it, but one shot could possibly put it down. Again, very strong unit. But you need to protect it. And right now, Purple's having a real rough time with that. On the right-hand side, again, at the very least, per uh, Purple. Orange is still trying his best. But right now, Red seems to be the only Doc player I see right now with offensive capabilities. And he's putting down that Bazooka team. Ah, oh, poor Bazooka team. Uh, luckily, the Commando switched to their Bazookas. And uh, hopefully can do some damage before being absolutely torn apart. Uh, maybe not. They are being torn asunder. Same thing with that Sherman. Uh, look, it's looking real bad for Purple. But Red, with his, I uh, guess, trusty troops in his treads, is advancing forward. And might be able to break blue. Now, it looks like air support from uh, the British are coming on in. Again, we have to see here the anti-tank loiter. Now, if he runs, he should be able to escape it. Oh, wait. Matilda coming on in. Panzer III will have a bit of a rough time. Oh, sorry. Panzer IV. Oh, well, a command vehicle will have a bit of a rough time. Fighting it. But it looks like they managed to take this territory and give Red still a good fight. While the Matilda probably uh, doesn't have to worry about the AT gun. They really don't have to worry as the commandos come on in with their LMGs and just absolutely shred. And again, right now, 19 kills respectively. Right now, 10 is on the other one. So, doing pretty well, all things considered. If G section as well, have a decent uh, kill count. Again, com these commandos will do more damage. And as long as you don't need them to do any support functionality, for pure raw DPS, they're solid. I just prefer the other one because close range do a little bit better. And I find in this game, close range units, especially on certain maps, do way better. Strafe comes on in. Day, I'm actually bringing, bringing down the Matilda quite a bit. Plus, I like demos. What can I say? Anyway, uh, Panzer threes are in need of repairs. The question, does he have that? Um, again, we know he got an upgrades, but essentially, I wish I could see what he's gotten. Because I click on the unit, right? It doesn't. Now, it looks like he's healing. I So, he's slowly healing. Ever, uh, so, he has that functionality unlocked, which is good to see. So that means his armor can just natively heal themselves back in their base. So that's good. But again, I wish I could just click on the unit and see all the abilities. That, that would be nice. Anyway, airstrikes coming on in. But the American is not deterred. Diving in. Another, one, two, three martyrs. I think we see a pattern. It might be beneficial to bring them back from the dead. Because again, they're so close. They're literally in your base. Uh, but that's just me. Now again, the... Against these Shermans, and again, armored, uh, so they can get some nice bonuses to make the Shermans even more effective. Uh, we'll see how they fare. I mean, Pack 36 needs something to body block the Shermans, otherwise they'll just charge it. So, curious to see how that goes. Gustatori, though, burning away the American forces over here. So, that's good. And Red had to pull back because of Blue. So, I'm sorry, Cyan, I should say, the British. British back in mid. Again, American low. Without that pack 36 there, not able to fire, you know, a shot to kill it. So, again, close fight. But the allies, once again, pull out on top. Again, I still say right now the best person for an offensive is red. But, looks like, uh, that might change. Right now, we have a lot of foot guards coming on out. And they can definitely do a lot of good work. So maybe then Cyan moves in to assist the American Blue uh, player and, well, helps absolutely thrash what's left of Red's army. Now, Red has three armored units, which might kill the Sherman if he's lucky. Air support's going to knock out the MG, it looks like. Yep, puts it down. Sherman does escape and pulls back. Oh, uh, poor Matilda. Actually, wait, there's armored, right? Did he go? Oh my god, he actually stole a pack 36. That's hilarious. Medical. That is pretty funny they actually brought that back. So, right. Not the one on the right, but it had to be the one in mid. So this thing is absolutely holding back. Well, helping to shoot down enemy planes and also helping to fight off enemy armor that come in. So they have a good defensive line. Now, let's see. German forces are holding their own. Uh, again, uh, even though they've been pushed back quite a bit, these guys still have a good amount of kills. I mean, the Americans as well have a solid ki Well, do they have? Do they actually have a solid kill count? I mean, that guy's new. So I think the Doc 
infantry has been better, but I think the support for the Americans has been uh, overall more solid. Smoke coming down thanks to the support gun with also 10 kills, so not too shabby. Uh, Sherman with 9 kills, 2 vehicles killed. Again, decent kill count for the other. Uh, uh, German forces advancing. Sherman, again, being pushed back. These guys have bazookas. They hit that sh uh, Panzer IV. Sorry, Jesus. Panzer III. And dry, uh, but that being said, it's not enough to drive them away. Our Strafe comes on in. Again, Doc. That, I love the play in Strafe. It's so janky. Uh, but yeah, maybe the Doc could invest in, you know, something to fight off the planes. Uh, again, they have... Does he actually have the building for it? I mean, technically, yes. So I don't see why you can't just get AA to try to shoot down those strafes. But, um, I mean, I get maybe the, it seems like they're gone. So maybe, maybe the Flak 36 over here shot down. No, they don't have kills. Is, is this thing shooting down? Pla no, he doesn't. Okay, no, there's no way. So, huh, do you have an AA anywhere? I'm honestly curious. Whatever. Anyway, Gustatori pushing back in mid. Burning alive those foot guards. They're like, ah, yes, we'll come in and save the day. No, not the case. Double flamethrower is still doing a lot of good work. Stuka as well uh, is in mid, so it's hopefully in a good position to fire. My uh, my my issue right now is AT. There's not really a bunch of a, a bunch of AT here, right? There's no solid defensive line, so I can easily see an issue here. Uh, Matilda, though, coming on in, doing what I can against the Gustatori. Support gun putting down the MG to assist with the advance. Uh, Americans seemingly on the back foot. And the Doc are managing to capture that territory. I believe it's the Panzergrade here taking it. But again, the Doc could, can get the upgrade to take territory if needed. Now, uh, some strikes coming on in. Hold on, is that their own strafe? We actually have a strafe coming in. Okay. The Germans have their own. Oh, wow, that plane flipped. But yeah, uh, they actually have the ability to. Support gun on the verge of killing the MG. Nice. Oh, no. Reinforcing it. But it, okay, I don't know how long they can hold. And right now, still a close game. Even though I, I feel like the Germans have done a little worse job, especially with purple. I feel like the flanks are really doing a good job at holding things together. Uh, red and orange, respectively. Um, and I also give credit where the allies are refocusing where needed, right? So if he's like, hey, I'll sw swing my arm around, try to push back these Panzer threes, and that way you can gain a little momentum and retake the territory. What the fuck am I about to watch? Double Calliopes, are you serious? Alright, well, um, the rockets are firing and the Shermans are advancing. Okay. Another Panzer III coming on in. The Shermans are just out DPSing. Also, the Flak 36 coming in. He was not expecting that. That is so goddamn funny. He's like, guys, the Calliope's are on the front. We can easily kill it. No, not at all. And it seems like Red just pretty much lost all his armor. And is down. He lost his Panzer III's and his Panzer IV. Right? Yeah. Artillery came in a little bit, but... Not really doing all that much. He's... I love it. He's grabbing it and pulling it away. Amazing. But, yeah. Solid effort. Really good job. I can't complain. That was a really good co a combined effort by t the both American players. And now that allows Blue to move on in and grab that territory. Even if he's lacking armor... Well, okay. Lacking suitable armor that can fight at this moment. But, uh... Yeah, no. Frontline sectors will be illuminated. Wonderful job. Again, at least the, the Flak uh, 36 over here is pushing back to Matilda. Though, Bishop Artillery, oh, although apparently by, uh, what was it, my friend Delta, he's like, no, Bishops suck. But at the very least, he is arting this region, which is going to cause havoc for this Flak 36. Um, again, we have infantry on standby trying to push him where they can. But middle's the, right now the, a big point of contention. But with all the British and American forces here, I just do not see a single dock player pushing in. Unless this other guy assists with his own Flak 36 and Stuka support. Um, at least he has uh, two AT units. But again, he needs to move them closer to actually fight off the Shermans. Uh, speaking of which, that's... Hold on. Calliope seem to have thrashed more equipment. Germans had. 
Uh, they're pulling back. They have 11 kills, respectively, 5. Again, I'll give full credit where credit's due. Calliope's were the perfect bait. Um, also, one thing about the Calliope... Uh, not Calliope, Whizbangs. Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, the one thing about the Whizbangs I'm like a little bit iffy on is the fact that, hey, Vet won ability, you can switch it for a Sherman. I'm like... Okay, but why, though? I guess it's in case you need to pop it off, but... Alright. I don't know. I don't mind it. It just feels weird. Anyway, American forces help to pick off that unit. MG as well trying to cover with the German forces moving on in. Looks like a flamethrower was left behind by uh, some dead Gustatori, I would assume. Uh, where's your Gustatori, man? Where's your Gustatori? A lot of half-tracks. A lot of mortar half-tracks. My god. I mean, I... I I could see him trying to mortar the enemy and then lure him in to attack, be hit by the 18 line. But with three Shermans, I don't know. I would have still something to screen so he doesn't just go in and just cause absolute chaos. So it would still take time for those AT guns to reposition. Flak 36, again, repositioning. Where's the Americans, Flak 36? Oh, okay, two bishops now. Artillery coming in, knocking out that support equipment that he also stole from the Germans, which I find quite funny. On the left-hand side, Red is trying to hold out, but I think Commando should easily win this. Armor needs to come in, but he doesn't have anything. Is he saving up for something bigger? Hold on, Calliope's are lighting up the enemy. I... Again. The, the absolute perfect bait. Uh, plus, again, you have the American line. Oh, there's the Flak 36. There we go. There it is. He, he just went in to heal it, I see. But American force, American, British force is coming on in. And uh, artillery is just smashing this line, which has no effective counter. He has three mortar trucks, but nothing to fight on the front against infantry. His one weakness, uh, uh, having something AT related. Luckily, again, British infantry section have AT grenades. So he was almost able to kill that. Uh, again, you have the dock, uh, orange player coming on in. But the Shermans with their 76 are just gonna shred their yeah absolutely just gonna shred that infantry so good job there american forces coming in to help out the commandos yeah with their lmgs they're just shredding that other lmg even though they're in solid cover this those support can come in to assist there we go finally causing suppression and driving them away red has been fully pushed back on left hand side Again, three Panzer III is just out there in the open. Now, I know, I know. This American player, most it does not have the ability to bring them back from the dead. But, just saying, this other player does. Hey, you want a free Panzer III? No? Okay, that's fine. Anyway, foot guards push back. I'm assuming they were trying to move in to kill some light vehicles. But Red's purely defensive behind some solid cover. So, we'll take artillery or something to break them up. Luckily, the British have that artillery and are absolutely trying to shred them. Now, it, Orange is the last player left with a solid defensive line over here. Um, again, uh, he, actually, from the manpower, it seems like I'm assuming. No, no, no. It's, it's counting it from the British perspective. Damn it. All right. Vehicle drills completed. Again, there's just all this equipment here. And I feel like it would be so cheap to bring it back because it's right next to your base. Does he? Um, let's see. Where, where? There it is. No Stuke D or recovery truck. I'm surprised. I'm truly shocked by that. Matilda's still on the front. We have airstrikes coming on in, strafing the Shermans, but they're going to dodge out of the way. Oh, we have an oh, easy eight. We know that because, again, you got that one assault engineer. So, again, not a bad call in. Uh, again, now he's a full Sherman army that hopefully he can repair and get operational. Artillery is still in the back. Nice strafe. Uh, hitting that Sherman and the Bishop. One more strafe, and that could have been root. Oh my god, that could have killed so many units. But at the very least, even though one Sherman's dead, you know, they they they, they did trade up a little bit. They they just a little bit. So uh next up we have artillery. Kali uh whiz bangs. Absolutely shredding those uh burst Very nice job. Driving the enemy away. How's Red doing? Red, I... Mm, Red's a bit iffy. That, okay. He's like, listen. 
I can't get myself more Panzer threes. They're gonna be taken out. So let's get a Tiger. Tiger's not bad at all. I mean, it can be a very good tank. Also, this is the artillery currently hitting it, so we know we went infantry company, so we brought the artillery. Not a bad choice. Again, that way you can just hit the enemy back lines from a pretty safe distance, and hope. Although the Suka can fire and then retreat just to be a little bit cautious with it. Um, if you're firing near the front. Hold on. Greyhound, the other one may have perished. But like his ancestor before him, uh, he's going in for a deep dive. Finding the previous carcasses. The Stuka is in sight. Did he... Uh, he's still looking for it. Unfortunately, he may not be as good as his uh, father was. But, you know, it's fine. This young Greyhound, maybe he'll be able to prove himself. Snuka is firing, revealing its location. Uh, Flak 36 trying to hit it. Again, looks like the British infantry took some heavy hits. But can the Greyhound finish off the Stuka? He does as the Flak 36 kills him. Damn. That's unfortunate. Again, I should point out that either Dock player could easily get a recovery vehicle as well. Right? Now, in this situation, the British... And American forces are close enough that it would be probably a bad idea to try to recover them so close to the front. But, you know, just something to point out. Uh, Tiger putting down those foot guards. Shots bouncing to the side. That's a that's a great sign. Um, we got some MG bunkers laid out to try to hold the victory point. Again, Doc currently on the back foot. They need a victory point in order to keep themselves in the game. And mid seems to be the point where both sides are trying to, to like, you know, contest. And... Although, the Americans hold it, so really they're just playing defense. Now, the better, oh, sorry, the, probably the best German infantry that currently all three uh, dock players have is on the front right now and absolutely shredding the Americans. But here comes the whiz bangs and their rockets, although it seems like most of the rockets are missing the key target and uh, they're just going to wait for the barrage to finish up and then move back in, so unfortunate. Again, a lot of dead equipment on the front, so the... German artillery seems to be working, but Bishop coming in clutch, getting a great shot on that infantry. Tiger tank trying to advance, but again, uh, AT gun returning fire, although Bunker is gone. Bazooka team's coming on in with the Shermans on the flank. Can they put down this mighty beast, or will the Tiger tank reign supreme? Sherman's going in for the flank maneuver, but again, we have the flak that could be in range. The other one is not there. He's moving up. I mean, it does kill that commando squad, but now he's left his rear completely open. And White Phosphorus hits the AT gun, blocking sight. Sherman's, again, uh, just running rampant. Are we going to see any additional forces? Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Black 36 helped put a shot on target while both of Sherman's by blue do die. Tiger is put down. That was pretty much exhausting Red's frontline capabilities. Now this area is pretty much uncontested. Honestly, I might have pushed over there more than pushed in mid with all the entrenched British and American forces. Though we'll see. Black 36 helping the guard as the dock and forces advance. Again, we have artillery raining down across the front, but so too will the Wills Bangs in just a moment. They will fire, and it looks like they might completely whiff it. Firing where the uh, Versigliere were, not where they are. They do capture the territory. So the Germans have managed... Oh my god, hell of a shot on the retreat. Uh, but the Germans have managed to keep themselves in the game for a little bit more time. Again, uh, just so much potential right now. So much potential. Hold on. Oh, wait. We got Tiger Skin. And not just that, we have a guy who paid for his Tiger Skin. Nah, I'm not. I, I, I'm not gonna bash someone for paying for the skin. Again, I think this is actually a, a, a cool skin. I, j I just point out because I think this is the first. Is this the first time I've seen a, a, a German player with it? It might be. So, maybe again, very, very interesting. Very interesting. And again, more prevalent on the large armored units. But allies managed to push back. They knock out the Flak 36. So the other one is firing on the. E oh, sorry, the, the other Sherman. Where's the Easy Eight? Did it? It, it didn't die, right? No, it probably just pulled back. Yeah, they just pulled back after heavy hits. They t they took it. I mean, they decapped the position, but it, they took some heavy losses. Red trying to push on in. Moving up, it's 36. Again, if you can recover it. If you can. It might be worth it. 
Greyhound coming on in for another deep dive. Again, pretty cheap, all things considered. And for the cost of killing a stew gut, I could, absolutely worth it. Though, we have... At least I've not seen... Because, uh, again, just for quick reference, um, with the uh, Italian combined arms, I've not seen the artillery. So it would probably make me assume that he went with the uh, cheaper cost, which might be helping him fight. Which, actually, hold on. Yeah, Aaron C. Okay, that's... That explains... I know I've been only on Air and C for the entire time, but still, I'm like, okay, those are the two remaining ones I missed. GG says SY. As his troops are fighting over the territory, Red, I guess, lost a lot of his men. We also have a Matilda moving in with commandos. Light vehicle dying on the front. Oh, my God, that poor... Oh, my God, those, those poor Germans. They're just being absolutely stretched beyond compare, dying in there. Um... I find it interesting that that's the point where the enemy team decides to drop and leave because it's still a close fight. The Germans still have plenty of power behind them with the Tiger and such. The Greyhound, yeah, definitely. The Greyhound could move in and absolutely tear apart a lot of this rear stuff. But it is a little interesting that he would call it there. Now, his army's gone, but that doesn't mean that he's done, right? But uh, that's just my thought process on the matter. Again, I, I, I could easily see a situation where the Axis managed to get a few good hits, but the Allies have definitely managed to defeat Red. And Purple doesn't really have much in the front line to stop infantry from what I can see. So all it needed was a couple infantry sections to push up and this entire area could absolutely fall apart. I guess that what he was really relying on was the Mortar Half-Tracks to hopefully kill them before they advance, but that's really risky. Uh, but yeah, I would, you know, you probably still want MG or something to hold him back so this left side was very prone to collapsing very soon from infantry not armor because of all the at but probably infantry um the right hand side with the tiger inbound it is sad we didn't see it really fight all that much but with all the armor from the american player plus the greyhound coming in which probably have just you know disorient the or uh the orange player that's something i probably would have liked to see now with all that said um do i think this situation where the germans could have won very low, but I think the Allies definitely had the upper hand a good chunk of the game, and I think they did a very good job. Now, again, I think that's against Purple. The flanks with Red and Orange were the pretty more hit and miss, and Orange consistently showed that he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the American, and I think both the Yellow player and Orange did a really solid job. I think Cyan did a good job trying to assist where he could on either front because his guy really wasn't pressuring him all that much. The Gustatory, sure, but he did have a ton of ET or something. Um... Uh, or armor consistently fighting him. He mostly was AT. And with the double 36, that is a hell of a thing to deal with. Now, I will give him credit with the artillery and other things he tried to bring out and try to bomb the Americans with. It se that seemed to do actually a pretty good job, though. Again, I will give credit where credit's due. This Flak 36 running around shooting people, pretty hilarious. Now, um, defenses-wise, I think Blue, once he took this area, was pretty solid. I think an attack by Red over here with his Tiger with additional defenses would have been better because then you pull away forces from mid, and maybe that would have been better for him. But uh, suffice to say, solid uh, solid game. Now, uh, Johnny is the one who submitted this, so thank you, Johnny, very much for submitting this game. Uh, yeah, but no, overall, I think this was a solid 3v3. Close game going back and forth. 45-minute uh, game, so a pretty... Uh, decently long one as well. And again, I, I feel like this game, now that people are actually playing it in terms of learning the strategies and counters, I feel like we are starting to see like an average for a longer game, 40 to 50 minutes, but still a pretty intense game. With um, That said, I still think that getting out a uh, Tiger should maybe be a little sooner, but uh, or some heavies, but hey, um, I, I, I think right now that every side was able to bring out pretty much everything they had. So, overall, not too shabby. The whiz bangs are the only thing I felt maybe a little disappointed. Because I felt like they fired a lot of rockets maybe not, didn't get a ton of kills. He got 17. But uh, I would probably say best infantry unit absolutely goes to these guys. They were just absolutely killing it. They got like 70 plus kills. I would show you guys the MVP stuff. But unfortunately, I think as soon as I close out of this, it's just going to close. So, um, solid stuff there. Um, best vehicle? Greyhound. That Greyhound that dove behind the lines. It was just... 
dodging shots left and right. Easily my favorite. Easily. Um, the British, though, I would still give second place for their forces. I think they were pretty solid. Though, as we can see, he definitely lost quite a bit. Though, guys, LMG guys did pretty solid in the kill count department. So, again, really good job. And I think the major reason they did so well is because they weren't necessarily fighting an enemy that were fighting them long range in the same capacity. He the, the the purple player would typically keep his forces further back. So these guys just use their range easily to overwhelm them. So uh, again, you see a, you see it an exploit the opponent. Now luckily um he still had recon with this so he could still see the front he didn't need the recon players. Maybe that would have helped. But yeah no I I solid job with these commando guys. Foot guards I feel like they were just there to make sure the armor didn't just dive on into them. But I, for their job I think they did fine especially when the tiger tried to push up. All right, but I think that's going to be it. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe. This has been Grayshaw17. Uh, checking to see if he can actually show you guys the after action report. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshaw17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malab, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyro Shark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.